Sometimes in your game mechanics, you'll need to pause before carrying on a set of instructions in order to wait for a certain amount of time rather than carry out those instructions as soon as the game engine can. Sometimes you'll need to do this with a coroutine, you can do that for more advanced things, but you can also use the wait for seconds command to create a slight gap in your scripts before carrying on the set of instructions given. In this example scene, we've simply got a box with a rigid body on which falls down. Now I've made this into a prefab so I can assign it later. To do that you'll need to just create a box, assign a rigid body component to it, and create a prefab to drop it onto. See the other tutorials if you can't remember how to do that. But I want to instantiate this and I want to instantiate an example of uh, one of them every X amount of time. So I've got a spawn point which is an empty game object which is just sitting at 30 away from the ground. So I'm going to create a script that creates that object by instantiation. So I'm going to go to create JavaScript and I'm going to create something called uh, my creator and then I'm going to double click that to launch it in my script editor. Now the first thing I'll do is put in a variable called box which is going to be of type game object. Now I could say of type rigid body because I know that box has got a rigid body on but just to remind you uh, you can use this as an example for any particular type of game object. And then what we're also going to do is establish a boolean variable, uh, which I'm going to call ready now. And we'll say boolean equals true. Now in the update function, we're going to put in an instantiate command. We're not going to use that ready check just yet. I'm just going to show you an example of what the problem is. So I'm going to say box transform.position transform.rotation, that's going to inherit the position and rotation from that empty spawn point. So I'll save that, switch back to Unity and drop it onto the spawn point. Now if I select the spawn point, it's got a tick box to represent the true and false and it's got an empty slot for game object there called box. So all I'm going to do is go into my prefabs and grab my weight and drop it onto there. Now, let's see if you can guess what the problem might be there before you hit play. Now, I've put this into the update function and hopefully you can remember that the update function checks every frame for an instruction or carries out a set of instructions every frame of the game. So, let's see what happens when we press play. So, every frame, it's instantiating a clone of that prefab. So whilst quite entertaining to watch and uh, quite pretty once they start racking up, it's not really something that's particularly predictable or useful in a game mechanic. So I'm going to stop play there. So what we need to do is to create a pause inside our script. So what you might be thinking is, OK, well, well, if we put in a pause after the instantiate, isn't that enough? Well, no, because the problem there is that it's going to continually loop through that set of instructions. And whilst it might be pausing, it will also be creating that instantiate command. So what I'm going to do is to create a function called makeBox. And inside that custom function, we're going to put our instantiate command. So I'm going to select it and cut it. So Control X on PC, Command X on Mac and paste it inside our new function. So the first thing we're going to do is to say, OK, we need to call that function. So make box isn't going to happen unless we call it. So we're going to say if ready now. And we could say, as I've said before, is equal to true. But just writing it by itself means the same thing. So if ready now is true, then we'll say make box. OK, so that doesn't solve our problem yet. So if we press play again, we've still got exactly the same problem. This time, that set of instructions is just being called here instead of directly inside update. But what we can do now is use that ready now variable to switch it on and off. So to stop this if statement from firing every frame, we can say that as soon as it calls it for the first time, ready now is set to false before we create the box. 
and set to true again afterwards. But even that doesn't solve the problem because we're still instantly switching from false to true and back again. So if I press play again having saved, it's the same problem. What we need to do in our script is to place in a yield command which is going to say wait for seconds and we'll just feed in a number value into there of two before switching back to true. So it stops it from recreating many times by saying false. Then the box is actually created. A wait of two seconds is added in and then it returns to true. So if we save that, switch back to Unity and press play, you can see that every two seconds a box gets created. And that's a basic use of a wait for seconds function inside Unity.